Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Eric B, and I am back at Flip My Cycle here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, where I will be testing out the 2018 Aprilia RSV4RR. Just want to say thanks to the guys here at Flip My Cycle for allowing me to uh, do a first ride and review on this bad boy. Man, this thing looks amazing. I like the matte finish uh, paint that's on the, uh, on the body here. And then just the... Uh, the overall styling of this bike just you know has that typical European style to it and Aprilia, Ducati and all those bikes like that you know they've always been known for having gorgeous looking bikes so this thing is packed with all of the bells and whistles and electronics that you can think of this thing has an amazing TFT display and it's also packed with things like cruise control um, Let's see, Willy control, ABS, launch control, you name it, it's got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing on the road. We're going to talk about it a little bit, and uh, let's get going. let's get going so I apologize right now if you hear me sniffling a lot it's cold outside and my nose keeps running so sorry about that in advance <laughs> alright so I'm told that these blinking lights here um, is normal and that they will stop doing that once I get up to about five or ten miles per hour sitting on this bike feels pretty good right now um, it does have that uh, lean forward aggressive uh, stance pretty standard on most of the sport bikes okay so this motor has a nice uh, a nice grunt to it it's got that v4 in it all right so right away this thing feels uh, trying to move it back and forth it almost seems as if it wants to just stay standing up straight some of the other ones that I've ridden like my Jixxer and the CBR and stuff like that, you know, they're real easy to kind of toss around. This one's like, nope, I want to stay up straight. But if you can see on the dash right there, it does have a lean angle um, indicator. So it lets you know how far you're leaning over, which I think that's pretty cool, especially if you're uh, going to the track. Let's test these Brembos. Oh yeah. These things are good. And now the gas light's on. Okay. Alright, so this thing is a 999cc V4. It has 201 horsepower and 82 foot-pounds of torque. So this thing's got some power. Oh. That backfire sounded nice. Now as far as the modes go and everything, I haven't had it really enough time to really play with them, so I don't know if I'm in the full um, a ludicrous mode is what I like to call it, or, uh, or what, and I haven't had time to set up the traction or wheelie control or anything like that. So I know there's like one, two, three, four, I think it goes all the way up to eight for some of them. But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna play with it as is right now it says it's in sport i don't know if that's the full you know um all out mode but we'll just uh we'll roll with that right now all right so the riding position on this is uh it's kind of weird for me because i'm 6'2 so i don't think this is intended for uh taller riders it just feels like when i'm um riding on it and i and i got to get 
kind of down into the tuck position I just feel really crammed on this bike like I have no more space to back up or anything so for you tall guys uh, just take note of that and also I do like the uh, the cutouts here on the tank um, it's nice for your legs to, to kind of fit in there oh man this thing has a grunty sound that sounds amazing All right, we're gonna go check this gas situation out real quick. And then we'll get back on the road here. All right, how do we get that sorted out? This particular bike is a little on the heavy side. Um, wet, it is about 450 pounds, somewhere in there. Like I said, it's got ABS and you can have different stages of that. It's got wheelie control, uh, traction control, and launch control. So, and there's, like I said, different stages of all that that you can uh, customize to your liking. So I've always been a fan of the sound of, you know, um, the 600s and stuff like that, and uh, the other 1000 CC bikes. But I tell you, this V4, man, when you're, when you're actually riding it and hearing it in person, it sounds badass. The V4s, the cross-plane motor that the uh, Yamaha has, they just have a distinctive grunt to it that, that sounds sounds mean as hell. And then uh, as you dive into the menus in, on this screen, there's a lot of other things that you can configure and uh, and everything else. So, like I said, display is very beautiful. Uh, I wish I had this on my bike. You can see it very well during the daytime, and I don't know if it automatically changes at night or not. Um, I'm sure that it does. And I'm taking it easy on this clutch, guys, is because I'm still getting used to this bike, and I don't want it to <laughs> want it to die on me in traffic here. So now, just the overall feel of this bike, to me, it feels. I mean, it feels fine right now. You know, I mean, I I don't know how it, it would be to take on a long road trip, but I will say right away that this seat is not comfortable. This is probably one of the hardest seats I've sat on on any of the bikes that I've ridden. Um, it's like sitting on a table right now. So. But if this bike is, you know, more for the track, um, you know, Aprilia didn't build it for, for comfort. They built it, you know, for riding around the track. So you're not really going to be sitting on it per se that much because you're going to be off it, you know, leaning and, and doing what you do what you do on the track. But the engine is very smooth and very powerful and the, uh, the power comes on quick. So it's got a lot of low end torque. As far as the heat goes, it's still cool here. Like I said, it's about, it's a little under 50 degrees right now. Um, I'm sitting at 200 degrees just because we're sitting in traffic idling. Um, that's, you know, that's a given. But uh, I do feel a little warmth coming up uh, in the seat portion. But once we get going, uh, it's not too bad. All right, guys. So this bike is not for someone that uh, is worried about, you know, cost of maintenance and parts and stuff like that. Just because I know like Ducatis and Aprilias and BMWs, they can be a little expensive when it comes to getting parts and doing maintenance and stuff like that. So just be aware if, uh, if you plan on getting something like this. What I like about this bike overall, um, some pros is, like I said, the screen is amazing. Um, you have a bunch of different options and modes and stuff to choose from. The, uh, the power and just the sound of this thing is amazing. Um, so I think this would be a very good uh, track weapon as well. Uh, some of the cons, it's just the uh, the way that it the way that it feels when I'm riding some of the ergonomics, just because I'm a taller guy and the uh, the hard seat. But other than that, I mean, um, this bike is is pretty pretty awesome. Man, this is just the power and the sound is just so addicting. But hey, if you are looking for an Aprilia RSV4, check out Flip My Cycle. They have this bike for sale here if you are local to Fayetteville and they ship. So check them out. I'll leave their uh, uh, website and everything down in the description below. And that's going to do it for me, guys. So leave me a comment down in the in the comments section. Let's talk about it. You know, what do you like about the RSV4? Do you have one? Um, and then what's just what's your thoughts about Italian bikes? Also, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.